What? That's a good way to start the video. Just get rid of intro and a freaking bugs fly right in my eye. Lovely. Anyways, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here. Probably going to be the last video on this particular plot spot that we've been working on in and out of the video here. Last few videos. I want to show you how the plot does after a bunch of rain. Yesterday we got completely hammered with rain here and so this is going to be a good testament of seeing whether this either holds a lot of water gets super mucky and nasty or if it actually drains pretty well and it actually drains pretty good it's not that bad in here because there's a lot of areas around here that are holding water throughout the woods and the plot's not at all here's a plot i mean everything's wet because well whether it holds water or not if you get monsooned on it's gonna it's gonna get a little muddy after just been tilled up you can see a track going that direction there um, tons of them in the plot. I mean, there's tracks all through this whole stinking plot now. I just tilled this all up again the other day. That's good to see. That's good to see. You can see all the all the marks from the deer running through here. So I actually put a trophy mineral rock out here. So I want to see how this uh, how this looks. I want to see if there's any tracks around the stump from the deer messing with it already. There's definitely definitely some tracks around the stump the amount of tracks throughout this whole plot is just crazy you can see all the marks from all the hoof prints <laughs> running across this thing I mean it's just completely packed with traction deer running through it now there is a stand right here that's kind of a pain in the butt to get to now just because of all the all the crap from the logging they just kind of like I don't know they whacked it pretty good I mean this limb that they took off here I mean, it hit the corner of that stand and moved it off center. So I don't know if they broke the stand, if they just knocked it out of alignment, or what they did to it, but I mean, it's pretty, it looks pretty whacked. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep the stand in that tree, or if I want to pick a new tree for this end of the plot, but we'll figure that out and I'll let you know what we end up doing. Well, I cut out of the woods there. I was actually back there from about 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Way less hot than it normally is, but I sweat like crazy. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I was up holding a stand, trying to strap it down, like working a little bit more with that kind of stuff versus on the tractor or hardly moving when you're cutting wood. Not fun hanging those stands by yourself and not having a safety strap. We might be checking out a property tonight. And in terms of the property, I'm not like for sure. I'm not certain that we're gonna buy it or not. I'm not, I don't know. All I know is like this property popped up for sale super, super, super cheap. Very close to me, but it's just across the Ohio line. Great looking deal, but it's like a city limits property. So it's a little bit of a bummer, but it's a plus side in a couple areas. So I'm not gonna go into full detail just because it's uncertain that we're buying it. It is something that I love to do. I would love to just freaking buy some of my own ground. Like it's fun coming over here and working on, you know, dad's farm, but to an extent, Part of me just wants to be able to have something that's like my own. I can log it when I want to log it. I can do food plots when I want to do food plots. I can shoot whatever deer I want to shoot. I don't have to call and ask for permission to do certain things over there. Like it's really not that much. Like if I wanted to buy it, I could buy it. That's the problem. I'm kind of like, uh, I could buy the property because it's, it's a really cheap deal. It's a really good deal. Do I need to buy the property? Is it necessary? No, but I could have a property 20 minutes from my house that's across the Ohio line and fill some Ohio deer tags. I kind of had some ideas for some new content too, and this is something that I've talked about wanting to do for a long time, and I've never done it because, again, this is not my farm, this is my dad's. And so like when I think, man, I'd love to do some freaking crazy content, go over there and freaking whip some donuts in the field or take a truck and freaking bury it in the river or whatever, or take it mudding throughout the woods on the trails, stuff like that, like things that like, I feel like you guys would love to see. And then I keep reminding myself, I'm like, but I can't really do that. You know what I mean? Like burying the truck in the river last year, that was one thing. It didn't really tear anything else up because it's in the water. You never see it, it's underwater. But like, I can't go freaking doing donuts in his field because that's his crop. I don't know, I'm so torn guys. What do you think? I know most people are gonna say, buy the property. Just cause like, when you ask people, should I spend money? People always go with the yes factor, it seems. Well, I'm definitely leaning towards the idea of just finally doing it, getting it out of my head, getting it out of my system of actually finally just owning a piece of ground that's my own. Man, I freaking love these cold mornings. I tell you what, especially when I've got my super warm loud and proud merch. So what I'm actually doing right now is there's a spot on Reagan and I's property where I feel like we could possibly shoot a deer. And when I say that, I mean like there's the potential 
that if we removed the gate, we removed some fencing, and I planted a food plot and whatnot, I think we could actually harvest a deer right behind our house over here, because I've seen them back here before, um, but I've never actually like, put a camera out, put minerals out, anything like that. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens. This is pretty much all we have to work with. There's a little patch of woods over here, which we do not own. It only goes back into the woods here, about 50 yards. We would have to somehow figure out how to get a deer to pretty much come closer than, where's the corner stake? I think it's right, right down there. So pretty much closer than like these big, this big tree like right here. Which means I would probably have to get the tractor in here, get rid of some of this brush, donkey and the horse. Anyways, get rid of some of this brush and stuff that's in the way down here, grade out some of the manure, um, all that kind of stuff. At the same time, take the fencing off of the posts. I would leave the posts, but take the fencing off of the posts, take the gate off, and then basically this pasture would no longer be covered up in terms of with fencing around it but just about here down so maybe like an eighth of an acre just something real small but a super super leafy productive plot i didn't go back there far because i don't own very much i only walked like this little tiny edge on the edge of the property line just because i wanted to see is there some decent amount of tracks or anything back there there definitely is and you can see why the deer are okay with it because once you go down over this bank it's actually really steep you can't see the barn you can't see the highway you can't see the house you can't see anything up here. you can't see the horse the fence so i think what i'm gonna do is take the fencing down today get the tractor over here maybe haul it over here with the obs get started on putting a food plot in on this back back half of the property and uh, see if we can get it set up for some potential to shoot a deer back here. We're gonna be heading off here to clean the six-speed Cummins because the winner of the truck is gonna be picking it up in two more days. It's gonna be going off to its new home. So I'm gonna have to go by the bank here, get some money for him and all that other jazz, but we gotta clean this off. I did drive it the other day, got a little dirty. It's not from like mudding, it's from hitting a nasty muddy water puddle in the driveway at my parents property so uh we're gonna go get this thing wiped down i got a microfiber towel to clean off the wheels so that we don't scratch those up and then we're going to pick up some money for him and then get on back over this way probably one of our last startups other than uh once we leave the bank <laughs> but pretty much once i get it back and park it Stay in here until he picks it up. So I did go look at a property last night with my buddy Jeshua. It was pretty cool. If you're just into deer hunting, which is why I would buy it, if you're just into like deer hunting and ATVs and camping and stuff like that, it's great. If you're wanting a site to build a house or like a national park looking type forest, this is absolutely not the property. But for me, I think it's great. Very, very cheap. Like under $2,000 an acre cheap. Like it's really cheap ground. For my location, that's cheap. Now I know that there's parts of the country where cheap is like 15,000 an acre. And then I know there's parts of the country where you can buy land for literally $300 an acre. Like it's super, super cheap. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about like some places in the state of New York, some places out in like deserts and just way out in the middle of nowhere where there's no jobs really other than like farm ground and timber and stuff like that. Like in terms of those types of areas where they don't pull a lot of people to to make the demand for land high it's just cheaper you know but for our area this price of ground is like unheard of like it's never this cheap but it's because of the location it's not like a super desirable location to build houses it's not an expanding town it's a really 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 slow town and the property itself there's not a lot of timber on it in terms of timber value because it looked like it was whacked pretty good about 10 years ago but I'm okay with that for deer hunting on super cheap ground because payments on this property each year would be just as much as what it would cost me each year if I leased a property the same size in the area. That's how cheap it is. I don't know guys, do I buy the ground? Do I not buy the ground? I'm so torn. And then I also saw the freaking Whistling Diesel put his first gen for sale and I told him I wanted to buy it, but I said that it would have to be another month or two out because I just don't want to spend that much money on trucks at one time. And he's like, well, it's for sale. And I'm like, oh my gosh, really? We'll see what happens. I know for sure I'm gonna buy his dually, but I don't know about the first gen, we'll see. That truck I'm really uncertain about just cause that's a lot of money going out at one time. That's a lot of cash. I just don't need both the trucks at the same time, but I don't know. we'll see. Got the wheels all polished up. Got the truck all sprayed down, wiped down. Got him a $5,000 certified check to take home. 
And funniest thing, so the winner of the Hellcat, I mentioned it on my Instagram, my Facebook, I made posts and all that stuff. His name is Jeff, Jeff Hughes from Missouri. So I made posts on Facebook and Instagram, all that stuff, and people thought it was so, so fishy. and so, so crazy that the guy didn't have Instagram until I told him to set one up just so that people could follow him and see the car. So he had a Facebook page and we advertised on Facebook a lot and that's how he found us. So he saw the Facebook ad, he entered the giveaway and then he won. And then once he won, I said, hey, you should probably create an Instagram page just so that everybody on Instagram who follows us can see the car. He said, okay, cool. So he sets up an Instagram and everybody's like freaking out because his Instagram is only a few days old. I'm like, dude, is that how people determine whether or not you're a real human being these days? If so, that is freaking terrifying. And you should think about that. I just want to make sure that I can show proof just in case Adam when you show up the truck is uh, for some reason dusty or dirty again I did clean this thing thoroughly wheels are all shined up trucks all clean everything's clean just so you can see thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned we may or may not be buying a property as well right now I'm still thinking on that don't forget if you want to enter to win our OBS Ford every one dollar is one entry until August 8th and then that deals over links in the description I'll catch you in the next video peace